playing much of Charizard at the moment, so we'll jump on that real quick. Um, so where are you? So, I'll ask the next question. What's uh, what's holding you back from doing the cups, bud? What's causing you issues? Doing all right, other than having to be up six a.m. for a bank holiday shift. Oh no, thank you. <laughs> No, thank you. It's one of the things I've always been quite blessed with, like the fact that um, I've always done manufacturing jobs helps, but I've never had to work about in Caldo. That's quite good. That's quite good. No issues, just don't get time off for said cups. Oh, so weekend work and stuff, I guess? Our, uh, our local judge who plays uh, Pokemon alongside us, he has the same issue. Like, it's... He has, like, um, I think it's like four on, four off kind of shifts. So... Yeah, he kind, of, he kind of misses out a little bit. <laughs> My nostalgia is ringing a bell. It's like RuneScape needs to go here. It was. It was a uh, sea shanty. <laughs> it's such a good tune. Um, yeah, I've got a mix of um, different game sound music on at the moment. I've, I was using some playlists, but like they keep throwing in licensed music, and it's getting me told off on uh, YouTube. So we had one last week where we, we had a really good game. Um, I think it was like an Arctino versus something else. Um, it was a pain. It was a pain because it got muted like right towards the end, so it didn't make sense to put it onto YouTube. But it, like the last three or four minutes were muted because of the audio, and it was uh, quite annoying. And immediately after the game, the audio came back, and I was like, "Awesome, thanks." I just lost a video basically. Fantastic. <laughs> Big fan of that. All right, let's see what we can do. Now I've missed that. I haven't played dedicated RuneScape for well over twelve years. Love that game. That's where this username came from. Fun fact: that was the old RuneScape username. Yo, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, give me one of these. Take you, take you, take you. And I said, we'll take you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, okay, Nest Ball, we want to grab you. Throw in Artisan. Give me this bad boy of the industry. Can we get you out of the active? We can. A bit of a weird way to do this, but we'll see if we can make it work. Um, I just missed that. I am not good at PTCG. Dude, don't worry, not me. <laughs> I'm awful at this game. Uh, honestly, at this stage, that's probably more useful. And that'll be us done. Honestly, PTCG, like, it doesn't matter how good you are as a player. It just seems to, like, mess people's gameplay and game plans up constantly. It's a right pain. Just start in like a month. No worries, dude. It's yeah. We all start at different times. It's something I always have to think about, right? Because like I've only been playing since, only, like competitively, I've been playing since February last year, um, and this is my first like competitive season IRL, like proper. And it's just like I'm so not used to like all the things that are going on. I'm there just going, yeah, I'm having a great time, and then everyone's just like kind of beating me, and I'm like, oh right, yeah, of course. We've got so many people that like have been in this thing for years, and it's just like, ugh. Sucks. <laughs> I just feel like I'm stuck a little bit sometimes. Okay, uh, where are we? We got uh, we got a really good turn two, which I'm quite happy about. We are already running to the issue with this deck where damage output is going to be the main problem. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> I was so excited about our turn. That, that doesn't. Nope. That's that's actually really really messed us up. There is a play that helps us, but like this current situation. Nishkut. Das ist Nishkut. Sometimes I throw random German in there just because I'm learning it. I was in uh, in Boots, if anyone uh, anyone's a, a UK person here. Uh, in, we, were, we were at Boots and uh, <laughs> I was just like talking randomly. I was like, oh, I'm really thirsty. And I was like, how do I say that in German? And I'm just like trying to think constantly of like how to say th certain things in German. <laughs> It's getting a bit silly. <laughs> um, okay, so... We're a little bit annoyed at our current position, but we'll make it work. We'll be fine. Bro, we're sweating. <laughs> I think we're in an okay position. It's not the best, but we can make it work. We're very fortunate that we've seen no path to the peak yet. Would I like to use Infernal Rain? Absolutely. Infernal Rain! Infernal Rain! And then... Ba -ba. Da 
Sure, let's cause some inconveniences. I love inconveniences. Two in there. Okay, that's fine. Burning darkness. Yeah, so our second our second turn with the hand we just had would have been incredible. We had Jacques and we had Pidgeot and we had Rare Candy. Sorry, uh, Charizard. So we could have gone uh, Jacques into RCS and Pidgeot, Rare Candy up, signed any two cards we want with Starbirth, evolve up the Charmanders. We'd have gone. I'm only 11, that is bullying. <laughs> Tell you what, you, you stop me from doing much worse, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. I can't help it. I've, I've got to I've got to play to uh play to how I'm playing. That makes sense. Uh we'll go with Charizard versus Arctino. But I will say, you know, that you're only 11, that's bullion. You're choosing a very fun deck as your first deck, I'll say that much. I love Arctino. It's been my like pet deck for ages. Got to play to test, that's the important part. Exactly. What am I doing if I'm not testing? Always grinding, bro. Always grinding. The, th the more annoying thing is we don't really have, like, anything else we can do right now. We're kind of just stuck in this. We're not drawing anything. <laughs> this is the one thing I've noticed with Charizard EX, and I'm, I'm sure it's a problem with other decks. I'm sure it is. But even if you get, like the first initial setup and stuff like that. Sometimes you just get stuck in a board state like this. Like, if this Charizard goes down for whatever reason, I'm stuck. Like, I got nothing. I mean, obviously, what's now in my hand changes, but Frick forgot stop. <laughs> it's alright, you got it this turn. I, listen, I was playing um, a cop on Saturday, and I played uh, Arctina versus Gardevoir. I evolved Arceus up, and it was all powered up, ready to go. I swung into a Zacian, completely forgot about Starbirth, completely forgot to use it, had no other Arceus set up, and they just took the knockout on Arceus, and I was like, how did I do that? How was I that dumb? Turns out... <laughs> how am I that dumb? That easily, apparently. Some kind of dumb, dumb duty head. You know, we all make mistakes, we all have to learn. I just feel like I'm learning slower than some people. <laughs> <laughs> we all get that though. We all get there. A nice smelling face. That's annoying. Don't do what I did and put a path down before you start birth. Big mistake. Some would say a very silly mistake. That's kind of annoying. Not pleased on that one. That's interesting. Why are you not interested? I'm not looking at the screen. I believe you. I can't do anything if you are, so. <laughs> Doesn't mean anything to me. I can't do anything. All right, so this is where the comeback starts. The fun thing with Charizard is you've got to play the um, where do my damage counters need to go game. Or where does my prize map go game? Because you kind of need to lose prize cards. Which seems so, like, counterintuitive to, like, any other deck. But you do have to, like, kind of go, yeah, actually, I kind of need to lose here. It just feels so wrong. Uh... Hmm. That's probably not the call at this stage. Bro, chill. I have no chill. I can only apologize. Uh, is there a... Actually, yes. Let's do this. What is Victini? Victini is, uh, fantastic. <laughs> this is what Victini is. Yeah, we don't need that anymore. Actually, hmm, do we? I'll do what the kids say, YOLO. Victini hits for 220 damage um, with three energy cost. It's a very, very good card. Very fun. Sure, we'll have to, we'll have to go with that. Sorry, vibing. <laughs> Uh, Victine, let me quickly show you. Uh, Victini is 190 HP fire Pokemon, has a one cost attack of, in Strafe, 
30 damage. You may switch to this Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. Victory Flame for 220. Uh, it hits for 220 and you can't attack next turn. Two fire cost, one colorless. Little does he know, he fell into my trap. If I can find Boss Vacuum. <laughs> Like, if I can get out of the path, I've, I'm in a really decent position. But I've got to get out of the path. That'll do it! We are pogging. The cylinders, we're firing on all of them. Yeah, as much as I was looking for you earlier, I don't need you now. If you leave me now, you'll take away the biggest part of me. Ooh. Um. Okay, so from here... We need... You know what? I got rid of Jacques. I could actually do a Jacques now. A Jacques would be really handy. Um... So, I think we... We'll go with the way we can to guarantee an actual attack. We're on four prize cards, so... With 60... In 240 right now, I think. Okay. So from there, we would like... You and... You know what? You. You! Boss my Arc V. I know what I'd boss and the Arc V is not my pick. <laughs> Very based. Um... I don't know if I want to even boss right now. Like, as much as the boss makes sense, I totally get it. Giratina doesn't hit for enough to be scary right now. But it is a knockout. So there is that consideration to be made. There is that consideration to be made. <laughs> my, you sweating? I'm not sweating. I'm fine. I'm good. Tina would be my target. Tina doesn't have to take out the Charizard. It can nail Arceus or Pidgeot. Ah, so the mass behind that is we don't mind Arceus or Pidgeot being taken down because then we can return a knockout which I was on. With the Vitality Band, we hit 280 on two prize cards. So there'd be a return swing, and then none of the Arceus couldn't take him out, couldn't take me out. So we're happy to lose two prizes. The main issue we have right now is we got Fuego Energy that's prized. Got to go, can't play. No worries, David. I'll drop you out of the list for now. If anybody wants to uh, jump in, you're more than welcome to. Hello, Kay. How's it going? Hope you're well. Welcome along. I'm not coping on the Charizard, I swear. <laughs> or am I? No, I, I'm not. I wouldn't, right? I wouldn't. Also, I'm loving the fact that uh, Bibberol <laughs> is just vibing there with the cleansing gloves on. He's ready. He's ready. He's ready to go. Oh, there's a interesting next turn here, but like I don't know if it's a good idea. We've got two prize cards left to get. We're gonna hit for two. Actually, no, we're good, aren't we? No, we're not. <laughs> I think we only run two bars. So, okay, um, just as a where where are we right now? Um, we've got four decks made up. Technically five, but we'll go with four. Uh, we've got Charizard, Maridon, Shen Pao, and God of War. All ready to go. Oh, and Lost Tina, too. We've got a lot of decks kind of like ready and waiting to uh, take some knockouts. I'm very excited. This is one of those where if I had Palpad, I'd be so happy. Pidgeot and Palpad as a combination is kind of broken. It's really, really good. So, we need... I know exactly what we need. No, <laughs> we don't need to get rid of that. That would be silly. And we don't have what we need. We do, however, have this, which could be interesting. 
Uh, I need one fire energy left in the deck as well. So everything we currently need is actually prized. Which is a bit annoying. Bit being the operative word. In fact, it's safe to say we're kind of stuck right now. Because once this Charizard goes down, we're kind of done. Or I don't even know mine's more of a Regilecki deck. Based Regilecki. Never mind, we run three. <laughs> Ooh. Genuinely, I, for I didn't know if we ran three or not. Genuinely didn't know. That's, that's prize knowledge to you. Or that's deck knowledge for you. That's what we were looking for. Charizard and the Choice Belt. Oh, my brain is way too full to understand. <laughs> GG, buddy. GG. That was a good try. You, listen, you played well. I, you played the hands you were dealt. I didn't think you misplayed anything, as far as I'm aware.